Hello everybody and welcome back to a new video. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to tell between diff between fake and real Pokemon cards. So first, what I want you to do is get which Pokemon card is real and which one is fake. And this Pokemon card is the real one and this is the fake one. Now let me give into give you a few tips to tell if your Pokemon card is fake. One really big tip to help you out is if you have a card that is a rainbow rare like this or a full art if e if neither of these don't have any texture like see it's flat both of them are flat then they are fake you see how this salamence has texture going all the way across the card and this one is does not that is one major tip to help you determine if it is fake or not but for example, if you have a card like this, a regular GX doesn't have texture. As you can see, you can see the lines, but that is just reflective material made into the card. So to tell for these cards, one major thing is to look at it compared to a real card. You see how this one has much more dull colors, while this one has much more vibrant colors? That is one way to see. Also, see how this is bold? black with an outline and that does not be, is bold it's not bold at all plus the lettering looks or the words look a lot better for the attack damage and those look a lot worse and then if you flip it over to the back you can see that this card has a darker blue and this one has a lighter blue which also can help you determine if it's fake or not Another really obvious thing that I think is obvious to me, but some people might not find it as obvious, is if some cards don't even exist, like this card, you can never find a gold trainer in any set of Pokemon ever. So this is obviously fake. Something that I just now noticed about the fake card is that the real card is actually a bit bigger than this card. If you, if you look at them side by side, then you can see that this one's just a bit taller when they're lined up perfectly, which could also help. One way to not get scammed is if you're buying cards online, always make sure what, that you're careful about what you're buying. Make, make sure to scroll down to the seller, and if the seller is 100% positive or close to that, then it's probably a girl card. But if it's not, then I would not trust it, to be honest. I personally do not buy much cards from online. And most of the cards that I have that I have in my collection are from opening Pokemon packs. Like this card, I opened from a Dragon Majesty pack. So a lot of times people will go online to buy the cards because they just want them instead of opening the packs to try to get lucky and find them. Which, I, it makes sense to me why you would do that, but... A lot of times people will realize that and use that to scam you for money. So, I hope this video helps, and yeah, just make sure to leave a like and subscribe if it did help. And if you want me to make more videos like this, leave a like.